I want to say, fuck what these bitches say. Listen, for you men and women out here doing the intrinsic with spirit workings, you got to understand this shit is real. And what the fuck the bitches are saying in front of you, whether they male or females, because there are some bitch ass niggas. It don't matter what the fuck they got to say. Oh, I don't want to be with you anymore. Oh, you know, you're abusive. This and that. You talk to me wrong. Bitch, shut the fuck up. You got to understand something. When you're doing this shit, yo, these motherfuckers are going to lose their fucking shit. These motherfuckers don't know what the fuck they're feeling. So listen, you got niggas acting like bitches and you got bitches acting like bitches. You got to understand that their mind is twisted. See, listen, I had a customer this morning hit me up like, this motherfucker was so depressed, man. The, bu the brother was talking to me like he was down and out, man. I was like, brother, you better wake yourself up because what you got is real. When the bitch hitting you up out of nowhere, you didn't call her, you didn't text her, but the bitch is texting you, calling you, talking about, oh, you say she don't want to be with you? Like, my nigga, you, are, you don't understand what's going on here. See, I've been doing this long enough to know when you work with the intranquil spirit, you're basically pulling someone against their will. So their body is going to react, their, their spirit is going to try to fight it. Their spirit can try to fight it in a way of resistance where the bitches, is, these bitches start talking back like, you know what I'm saying? Ah, they call you up just to fucking argue with you. They call you up just to scream on the phone because they don't know why they're here, why the fuck they're calling you. See, the thing is, you got to understand, when they start acting like this, they're in the breaking process. They're about to break. They're about to fold. So a bitch like that, listen, I've been doing this for a long time, and I know the reaction. Sometimes some people can come back in a calm manner. Sometimes people can come back in a hostile manner where they're trying to fight and argue with you. And even when you don't even want to talk to them, them other, and you want to get off the phone with these motherfuckers, they want to keep you on the phone whatsoever. You have to understand that's the nature of the spirit because the spirit doesn't want to be there. Their spirit, they don't, they physically don't want to talk to you, but their spirit is forced to be there, so their spirit is trying to fight. Their spirit is trying to put up resistance, man. See, when they start talking all crazy like that, and you haven't texted them, you haven't called them, that's because they're about to break and fold, bruh. You know what I'm saying, sis? They're about to break and fold. If you have not contacted your target, you have not reached out to them, you have not done nothing, and they calling your phone when you got that intrinsic workers on you on them, and they calling your phone just to basically fight and argue, that means they're breaking. They're about to fold. Yup, they're about to fold. So I want to say to you, don't always look at a negative situation in a negative sense. Look at it as a positive. See, when for me, I've been doing this long enough to know how to mind how these people are gonna react. Again, they can react in a positive manner where they can come back crying and saying they want you back, or they can come back in very in a very passionate mode. They can come back very passionately. Angry though. But ultimately, they're looking for your attention. At times, it could just be the frustration of the fact that you're not calling them. The fact that you're not calling them is driving them fucking crazy. And I've always said this in the past. When you ignore a motherfucker, that's when they do the most. When you ignore someone, that shit can drive a motherfucker crazy. These hoes, these bitches want you to chase them. They want you to be the dog at their feet so that they can humiliate you. The fact that you're not humiliating yourself in front of them drives them fucking insane. They want you to call them up and be like, oh my God, I want you back. I'm so sorry. That's what, that's what some of these sadistic motherfuckers want. See, listen to your big brother Lenny, because I've been there. I gave a bitch one time an inch, and a bitch tried to take a mile. I remember I got a little drunk, right? I had a little drink. And I started acting sensitive just to see where a bitch head was at. And when I started acting a little sensitive, I seen the bitch's true nature come out. She became a raging demon. She became a raging demon because I gave her an inch, but she wanted to take a mile. And when I seen how she acted, when I seen how she acted, when I brought myself down, that's when I realized how sadistic these bitches are. Again, I'm not saying women is bitches. Every woman, I'm, every woman is a bitch. I'm saying niggas is bitches too. So you women need to start putting that into your vocabulary because niggas can be bitches too. 
There's a whole bunch of whole ass niggas out here. So I don't want you women out here saying, oh, you know, he's a very sexist. You know what I'm saying? He was, no. I call them bitch ass niggas as I see them. I call them bitches too. So listen, do yourself a favor. Don't lose your shit. Remain calm, cool, collected. That person's about to break in full. It may not be within one or two days. I give you some, give it, give it, give it about a week or so. A week or a, a little, a week or a couple, a little week or give it a couple of months or give it a couple of weeks or if not a couple of months. Within that time frame. Don't say, don't, don't, don't quote your brother on saying, oh, he said within a week or a couple of months whatsoever. You know, say, no, I'm saying in between that time period, that person is going to break and fold and you're going to hear from, I had a customer recently that had a, a dude that told her that he didn't want to talk to her. That motherfucker went to the friends and said he don't want nothing to do with her. This motherfucker hits her up, trying to be friends and cool like nothing even happened. And this is the crazy thing about working with the tranquil spirit. These motherfuckers would say all types of crazy shit that they don't fucking mean. So with that said, man, I'm out.